Now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. And welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. After a pretty dry uh, weekend overall, we had a lot of cloud cover. More active weather, though, is going to be moving into the Pacific Northwest. So we're talking about some heavy rainfall, especially on the west side, uh, even up into our mountain and mountain passes. Snow levels are going to be rising throughout the day today and tonight. 5,000 to 6,000 feet for your Tuesday. So some warmer temperatures also uh, spilling into the area as well. There's the wet weather that we have right now moving into Seattle and Portland. Dry here locally, but as I mentioned, with a lot of the rain chances that they're expecting back through the Cascades, on top of the snow that they've already been seeing the last couple of weeks, there is a flood watch that's in place there starting this evening through Wednesday evening. So those creeks and streams will be on the rise as the snow levels start to rise as well. Locally, a lot of cloud cover out the door. Most spots will be dry early this morning for that morning commute, but we'll eventually see uh, these rain showers moving in. Best chance for this afternoon from the Yakima Valley and areas up to our north dry tri-cities and areas to our east and the foothills of the blues, but that will eventually start to fill in with wet weather later on this evening, just after about 8 o'clock, and more soggy weather is expected out the door for your Tuesday morning. We'll continue to have that spotty rain chance by lunchtime into the afternoon hours on Tuesday, but we're also expecting those wind speeds uh, to pick up and some fairly mild temperatures as well for the next couple of days with low 50s out there Tuesday uh, into Wednesday. So by Wednesday morning, we'll slowly start to clear things out. There's a look at 4 a.m. with a few showers left over from the Tri-Cities and Aries to our east. But really, the sun is going to be back with us on Wednesday. But as the sunshine returns, those wind speeds will be picking up. Uh, it's going to be a breezy day Wednesday with some of those wind gusts 30 to 35 miles per hour. Now, speaking of winds early this morning, pretty calm across the majority of our area. Northern Blues, the winds have been picking up. Even for Dayton this morning, your sustained wind up to about 14 miles per hour. But also looking at some fog that has popped up. So around the Tri-Cities, visibility down to about 6, 4 in Hermiston, even Pendleton, less than a half mile. And along the eastern slopes, there's some reduced visibilities as well. Temperatures are above freezing for many spots. 35 Tri-Cities, Pendleton, you're at 33, with 33 in Proster, and then some upper 30s from Ellensburg, Yakima, and down into Toppenish. So out there for this afternoon, as we start to get a few showers in here, we're jumping up to 41 in Yakima, 44 in the Tri-Cities with 43 in Prosser, and then 46 for Pendleton and Walla Walla. Dayton this afternoon up to 45. So again, those rain showers developing overnight tonight. Temperatures falling into the mid to upper 30s. So we'll have a soggy day on Tuesday, breezy at least for Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, we are going to dry out for your Thursday, some sunshine, colder temperatures moving in at 47. Quiet weekend overall. There's temperatures in the low 40s. And your seven day for Yakima. Those rain chances Tuesday. Drier day, but breezy day Wednesday with a high near 50.